Hi. Hi, everybody. How are you? How are um, you? <laughs> uh, I'm about the same, but a little better, but I'll take it. Oh, so so um, I had the weekend off, so my brain checked out. So you'll have to remind me. <laughs> what, oh, what was... I, um, I've just been, you know, dealing with um, an impaired ANS and chronic fatigue from COVID. And oh, that's right. Boy. Um, and so I was wondering, I was, I read the the write-up in the newsletter about ANS and about the Kundalini oil. And I wondered if either of both of those might be beneficial for me. A ANS definitely, I think, could be helpful. I mean, the Kundalini oil could, but I would like to be a, probably a little bit more specific. R run me down your symptoms again. Like you, you do have a bunch of mucus in your gut. Um, yeah. Um, so I was diagnosed with um, intestinal parasites like two years ago. Okay. And I, I can usually get those under control with um um, oh man, what is that stuff I drink? Diatomaceous earth. Okay. So they might have uh, sparked back up because I took myself off of carbs for months and months and months, and I just started eating um, some more carbs over the holidays, and they usually get really active with that. Okay. I don't know if that's why you're seeing the mucus or not, though. Yeah, it could, it could even just be like a byproduct of that over a period of time. Let, let's have you do. Um, so like when you say parasites, are you talking like diarrhea and things like this? Or you No, just I didn't even know they were there. I consulted um, a medical intuitive like almost two years ago. And he said that, that I had uh, parasites in my gut. Okay. And so- I didn't have any symptoms of, uh, of them. I mean- Okay. So um, let's, let's have you do this. Like, so there's the, that ANS support, but let's have you do, um, do, do you have um, rosemary verbenin or heliprism? Yep. Okay. So let, let's have you go like back and forth between like taking a couple drops of ANS and then like later in the day or something, do the rosemary verbenin and then go back to the ANS. And then the next time um, do a little bit of heliprism like kind of keep going back and forth. So one in the morning, one in the evening, like two, three drops each one. And so, so the, the thing that the ANS is going to do is it, it helps to rebalance like a, a, like a stressed out digestive tract. And it helps like with nerve innervation to the gut. You know, it's like sometimes we have like an issue where like the gut kind of falls asleep, like how when you sit on your foot, it falls asleep, but we don't have the sensory nerves to, to feel that. And so this helps to stimulate the, the, the neurological function, like the innervation mm -hmm. to the gut, but it also kind of rehabs like a stressed out digestive tract. And, and like, I, I'd say like more than half the population has a stressed out digestive tract. So, I mean, that is not, uncommon at all. Um, the, the, the rotation of the rosemary verbenin and the helichrysum will actually break down the, the mucus buildup in the, the digestive tract. And, and so, um, I mean, there's some other oils that you could put on topically, but um, I, I think you could probably nail it with those two. Like you could also like rub hyssop on the gut, like, you know, in lotion, like six, eight drops and rub it on the, on the gut. Um, you could also use thuja to, to do it, but those you didn't, would not want to take internal. That, that would just be a simple topical application. Um, you, you could augment the, the, the things you're doing internal with that topically, but um, you probably can knock it all out with, with um, just the internal treatment. But the, the goal there is, um, it actually even looks like it's a little bit in your uh, urinary tract as well. Are, are you having any urinary issues? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, so I'm let's just, just do that. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. 
Yeah. Exactly. I mean, if you have a lot of mucus buildup, it becomes harder for the muscles to contract. It would be harder for you to assimilate nutrients and things from your food. Um, um, the thing with the, you're exhausted. Okay. Let's, let's make a slight modification to what we said. So you're going to rotate between A and S and let's have you just do rosemary verbena. Let's oh. have you drop the helichrysum. Just go back and forth between the rosemary verbena and the ANS. And still targets the same things that we're talking about, but a little bit more emphasis on the, the fatigue that kind of comes along with that. Um, you know, after a few days, I would start using uh, maybe after four or five days of doing that treatment, I'd follow it up with um, one of the soft forms of thyme. Like again, going back to like thyme, thuyanol, geranol, linalol. For, for this, like any of the soft thymes would work. And um, I would just start doing a couple, like two, three drops, like two to three times a day. And that that is to strengthen the immune system, but also like revitalize your energy levels. And, and um, the, the reason to use it softer is like, you, you're not really wanting to stimulate something, you're wanting to kind of more fortify it and, and like be able to still be like relaxed where sometimes when you take things that are stimulating, they, they strengthen a little bit, but they kind of get you going a little bit. And it's a little bit of like, you know, having some caffeine and then uh, you, you, you bottom out a little bit. And so like with something that's been there for a while, I like kind of more of the softer approaches more consistently over a period of time produces a much longer lasting result. Okay. And the, like, if we're, if we're thinking of that too, you know, it's the beginning of the cold and flu season. And so, you know, we want to also strengthen your, your uh, body for, you know, the winter time. And so, um, the time should help with that, you know, help, helping to resolve everything at first with the other things, but the time should help with that. And um, any of the things that you would like to do, I kind of like Ravensara for you, like uh, applied like topically, but like in kind of big dosages, like 15, 20 drops at a time in some lotion and then just rub it on the body. Um, you could also do naoli, like we were just talking about. Um, Ravensara and naoli were, would both like improve energy levels. Um, I mean, we could go to cinnamon, but... I didn't so do let's well. try this for a few days and then I might have you instead of taking the cinnamon internally I might have you just do some things where you just sit and inhale cinnamon for 20 25 inhalations a couple times a day because like the the thing with the cinnamon and you could you could kind of almost do it with peppermint too um but it's both cinnamon and peppermint are are things that you stimulate body processes with. Like, you know, like when the body has, has gone through like colds and flus and allergies and an injury and, you know, whatever has been going on, the, um, the, the thing is, is like some of the body systems just, you know, they're firing on three cylinders instead of all four cylinders. And so you're just, you know, never quite getting your feet under you. And so that's how it feels. Yeah. I, 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 anytime you see like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, you know, it's, it's a lymphatic issue. Um, it can be a sensory nerve issue as well, but let's, let's treat what we see right now and then give it a couple, like maybe a week, see how your energy rebounds and,
there's just something I'm missing here. Like, give me just a second here. You have some, you have some cedar? Yes. Take, take like, um, like a, like a four ounce bottle of like witch hazel or alcohol or something. Take like, I mean, you could even do like an eight ounce bottle, but like, I'm thinking about like four ounces and take your body bottle of cedar and just dump the whole thing in it and then shake it up and then do a whole like body tonic, like, you know, just all over your body, even behind your ears, like everything. And you have a couple of things with that. So for, for one, um, any, anything that's like a big tree or real resinous, it's, it's fortifying to the body, it's fortifying to the nerves, you know, it's, it's just, it's not stimulating, it's fortifying, like it's just kind of gives you a, like a strength that's, that's there. But any, any time you support like venous blood flow, like which is blood moving back towards the heart, you, you are also supporting like vein health and lymphatic function. And I think when, when you're dealing with, with uh, fatigue and everything, that is one of the byproducts of, of sluggish uh, lymphatic function is fatigue, brain fog, things like that. And so let's, let's support the, the veins and do these other things that we're talking about, but let's support the veins and fortify the body a bit and see if this doesn't help rejuvenate the body. Um, you know, you should start feeling something within a couple of days, but uh, I would say after four or five days, you should start feeling something even more. But I think we just need to like really double down on like fortifying the body, like strengthening the body, but getting the, the vein health and, and um, vein function, um, the venous function, like improved. It yeah. sounds good I, I, because I, I can feel fine and, and I have energy. And then all of a sudden it's like somebody just pulled the plug. Yeah. For no reason. Is it happening at certain parts of the day or just? Oh, no. It's, it's just all over random time. Any, random any given time, yeah, any given okay. temperature, indoors, outdoors. Yeah. Like it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, that's that's probably lymphatic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like your, your body uh, just like when, when that starts to happen, you know, if you think about like the lymphatic system is tied to your circulation, it's tied to your inflammatory response. But it's also tied to how um, hormones, you know, partially how hormones are transported in the body. And so if it gets sluggish and things aren't moving, then it's like sending out packages and then UPS never delivers them or, you know, they get lost and it takes three weeks, you, you know. And so when you start seeing like symptoms like that, when it's just like super random, um, hormones are probably not hitting the receptor sites. And so I, I would double down on what we just said and just say that's probably a lymphatic issue. Not so much that the lymphatic system is causing the problem, but it's not carrying the hormones where they should be going. And so um, it, 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 it should help with that as well. And the, the witch hazel Caesar, cedar combination, do that daily for three days? I, daily, and if you're up to it, I do it twice a day. Okay. I, I mean, I, there was a couple of times where I was like having a little bit of a difficult time. I did it like every four to six hours. Oh, okay. I, I just drop what I was doing, go in the bedroom, like lather all down. And a lot of times when I would do it, like I would just go, okay, I'm just going to take a five minute break. And I'd lay down and just let it kind of assimilate. And then I'd pop back up and go do my thing and work for about four or five hours and then take a break and go do it again. And then do it right when I woke up and right when I went to bed and, and um, it, it helped quite a bit. 
Yeah, I, I'm a believer. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and and I actually uh, I put my hand up for.